So we're going to start um, a Basriti breath, which is um, an inhale, an inhale, and an inhale, and then a really long, exaggerated, I'd like to say exhale. And it helps to just free any tension, to move energy. Um, there is an arm movement, and I'll make that up to you if you want to do it. But it's a um, inhale, inhale. Hold on, I messed it up already. You get it. Oh, no, we got to do it standing if I do the arm. I can't do the arms here. We're just going to do it from here, seated. <laughs> so rewind. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And deep breath out through your mouth. And then let's start. Inhale, a third of the way through the nose. Another third. Another third. Full exhale through the mouth to relax. We're going to do that six times. Inhale. 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 Full exhale. Again. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Two more. Last one. Breathe naturally. And just feel how already something's shifted. It should be like taking a nice, happy shot of espresso or a tequila shot with the Cinco de Mayo. Good, and then begin to soften through the shoulders. Soften the tension through the abdomen. Soften the tension behind the shoulders. And go ahead and bring your chin down to your chest. Feel the gentle pull on the back of the head. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Good, and then go ahead and bring the left hand Lift your chin up. Bring your left hand over to the right knee. Bring your right hand behind your right hip and just lengthen the spine. Keep the belly soft. And then exhale, turn your chest to the right. Moving the spine six ways is where we're going just to mobilize. Go ahead and untwist yourself. Send the right arm over to the left knee. Left hand behind your hip, lengthen, inhale. Turn the chest to the left, moving the spine. Good. Inhale, release the twist, come back to center. Lifting the right arm up, bring the left hand down to the ground. Keep both elbows soft, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, reach the right hip to the right, reach the side body left. Take an inhale, feel the side strike of the ribs. And big breath out. Inhale, lift the right arm up, bring it down. Same thing, other side, lift the left arm up. Reach over to the right, soft elbows. Big breath in into the side body. Finding the space where which was once tight. And then exhale, bring it down. Good, now we're gonna add a back bend. So inhale, both arms come up. Lace the fingers at the top, flip the palms. Good, and then lift up out of the sit bones and turn your chest up just a little bit to the sky. Just feel what it does to the side of your hips. Good, and then exhale, bring the arms down, release your chin down, all the way to the front of your foot, the ground. Good. And then we're gonna go a little quicker, six movements of the spine, just to really free any tension in the body. Come all the way back up to center. We're gonna go one breath, one movement. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist to the right. Inhale to the center, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale to the center, lift the right arm up, exhale, reach to the left. Inhale to the center, exhale, reach to the right with the left hand. Good. Inhale, reach both hands up, flip them, back bend, exhale. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Good job. Go ahead and lift all the way up to your tabletop. Send the shoulders back and onto your spine. Pull the navel in. Turn off your emergence of tract muscles. It's my new favorite thing I've learned. Get those out of the way. And then we're going to just send the hips back and forth. So exhale and inhale. Just bring some movement, freeing up any tension through the hips. Inhale, tabletop. 
Exhale, child's pose. One more time. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. And please bring your forearms down. Turn your cheek if you can so that the left temple is down. Good. Bring the right hand all the way up to the ceiling and then down to your lower back. And just feel that right shoulder releasing down, soften through the left side of your shoulders. Good. Inhale, reach the right arm forward. Turn your cheek to the left, lift the left arm up, bring it to your lower back. Just finding lots of mobility through all the major joints of the body. Big, big breath in. Big breath out. Good. Inhale, lift it all the way back up to tabletop. And go ahead and lift the right knee up. Again, send the traps back. Pull the belly in. Inhale, exhale, nose and knee find each other. Inhale, lift it up, get into the glutes. Exhale, nose and knee. One more time. Inhale. This time, right foot outside the right hand. Slow and lift the right lats up. Find the rotation for the spine. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Two more times, just like this. Don't lose that left shoulder going back. Inhale. Good job, you guys. And exhale. One more time. Inhale, open it up. And then exhale. Good. Bring the right foot now in between your hands. Send the left knee back. Squeeze the knees in towards one another. Squeeze the inner thighs in. Lengthen the spine. Lift out from the lower back. Flatten through the spine. Inhale, lift the spine up. And then exhale, swing the arms back as you reach the head forward. Inhale, two more times. Really just loosening up everything through the hips, but still holding lots of stability here, right? So finding the freedom of the spine with the stability at the base of the legs. Stay backwards, hands placed. Inhale, find rotation for the shoulders. Exhale, lean a little bit deeper, head inside the right knee. Good. Bring the left hand to your hip. Bring the right hand outside the right toes. Lift the chest up, rotate that spine. And really send the right knee forward. You should feel a nice release through the left hip. And think about the finish of the swing here, right? So find a little bit more rotation, lengthen the neck. And then go ahead and lift the left arm all the way up over the ear and stretch deeper through your left. Feel your body getting wider with each inhale. Exhale, soften those muscles in the pelvic for a second. Inhale, exhale, one more deep breath, widen those back muscles. Very good, exhale, left hand comes down, send the right knee back. Good, move the hips and just feel the difference between the left hip and the right hip. It feels just like you've got a flood of circulation and mobility in that right hip, right? Okay, so let's bring that same movement to the other side and equalize the body. Spread the fingers out. Get the shoulders pulled back, pull the navel in, lift the left leg up. Good, so it's an inhale here for an extension. Exhale, pull in. Really connect the breath with the movement. See if you can mindfully move, just like you would an inhale at the top of the swing, and an exhale for the down, right? Good, bring the left foot now outside the left hand. Inhale, lift the left arm up and rotate. Really stack the shoulders, exhale and release. Two more, just like that, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. And one more time, inhale to lengthen. Good, exhale to release. Bring the left foot in between your hands. Walk the right knee back and send the left knee forward quite a bit, lengthen the spine. Turn your muscles on to pull the spine down so that you feel like almost like as if you were rowing on a rower, that same strength in your back. Here we go. Hip stable. Mobility of the spine. Inhale. And then exhale, bow down. Hands go backwards. Inhale. Lots of opening through the shoulders. Exhale. And if you play with the pinky rotation, you'll find at the top, right, you can even get a little bit more external rotation of the shoulders, just fitting the pinkies in. All the way down, hand place at the back. See how at first the shoulders, all of us, they kind of dump forward. Can you adjust that and send them back? Free up those pecs. 
free up that tightness always of the doing, the holding in the front of our bodies. Bow down a little lower. Lengthen the spine. Find even more stability through the hips. This is a huge one for spine mobility, hip stability. Take one more full inhale. Good. Exhale, right hand, hip, left hand to the floor, outside of the left leg. Okay, let's get that back nice and wide. Lift the right arm up. Lengthen, chin up, chest, right hand over your ear. Yeah, so nice and long here. Get wide with each breath, full inhale, even turn the right rib cage up. Soften the right shoulder. Don't try so much extension here. I tend to do that. I'm a type A overachiever. One more breath. <laughs> much better. And then exhale, right hand down, left knee back, and circle it out. Be very happy with what you've just increased in range of motion in both hips. It feels really nice. At least your knee does. All right. Tuck your toes. Spread your fingers out wide again. Keep your back wide. Drag the yoga mat apart, or whatever you're practicing on. Feel that ability to depress the shoulders down. And then keep that. Bend the elbows, lift up your downward dog. See if you can keep dragging the mat slightly apart though to strengthen your rotator cuffs. Good. And then we're gonna go ahead and lower all the way back down. Good. Drag apart, now rotator cuffs. Exhale, knees down. One more, just like that. Full inhale, strengthen. Actually, that's supposed to be an exhale. That's okay. Exhale, knees down, and release. Good. Come back to the right leg, extending all the way up. Pull the navel in. And then I'd like you to keep that right knee bent to strengthen through the glute muscles and lift the left knee up. Lift it up. Hold here. Send the shoulders back. Find that depression of the shoulders. Good. Hold the core. Three, two, and one. Slowly release the left knee down. Bring the right knee down to meet it. Same thing, other side. Lift the left leg up. Drag the mat apart. Rely on the muscles instead of dumping into the joints. Lift the right knee up. So you're in a plank with the left knee lifted. Yeah, there you go. And then I see one of those muscles pop up. <laughs> I love it. Good. Breathe. Good. Right knee down. Building some heat. Left knee down. Inhale. Downward dog. Exhale. Okay, we're gonna lift the right leg up to the sky to inhale and stretch. Bend the right knee, open up the right knee to the ceiling, and then make little circles with the right knee in the ceiling, tiny little circles. This internally rotating the hip, externally rotating the hip. Keep dragging the mat apart. Hold all of that sense of control, and then re-extend the right leg up. Send the right knee to the chest, and then place the right foot flat between your hands. Bring the left heel down. Get really low, okay? I want your hip parallel with the floor. Susan, I only see your head, so I'm just gonna assume you're in good form right now. <laughs> good, we're gonna lift up with the stability of the hips again. Lift the spine to the sky, just like we did in the low lunge, and come to what we are in warrior one here. And then I want you to see if you dump into your lower back, if so, pull now your pelvic floor muscles where it's necessary because you're very far and your body is now stretched out. So it's easy to hold your body without pelvic floor muscles when you're compact and small. But as you open up your swing, these lower abdominal muscles become even more important. So really pull in the, the muscles of the lower body. Take one more breath. And then open up the arms, spread the shoulders out into warrior two. And then take a look at your back foot. Make sure it's the arch heel alignment that we like. Sink lower. Take a breath. Reach your fingertips in opposite directions without straining your neck muscles. And then bring the left hand to the left thigh and reach the right arm over your head. Fill up the side of your body again. Take a deep inhale. I know it's burning. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, one more inhale, and then right forearm onto the right leg, left hand over your head to your rear exhale, or your side angle. Just like we did before, but this time the left knee is lifted. Turn your left rib cage open, 
Press through the pinky side of the foot. Feel your hips both externally rotating here. So widen those bones away from the ischium, right? Those little lifted hip bones. One more full inhale. Good, and then exhale, bring the left hand down. Bring the right hand down, step it back to a plank position, top of a plank, drag the mat apart, and slowly lower down to the floor. Good, we're gonna start with the hand with the lower back. Roll the shoulders down your spine. Press your, keep your knees to the floor, press your pelvic down, flatten your tailbone. And then inhale, lift the chest up. Good, okay, now stay here and just breathe. And I want you to see how high you are, like if it's an inch, six inches, wherever you are. One more breath. We're gonna come back to this. Exhale, hands down. Tabletop to downward dog. Okay, come back to that alignment. Start to pay attention a little bit more to the inner thighs, the big toes, the thumbs, and just feel everything getting stronger and more compact as more awareness comes to the center of the body with the breath. Good, lift the left leg up to the sky. And if you need to bring the knee down, that's okay, the right knee down. And then make the little circles so you get a nice internal rotation and external rotation with the left knee. Big, big little nuances that create a big difference, a small nuances that make a big difference. Rake down the left leg. And then gently knee towards chest. Left foot flat between your hands. Lots of slow control. Lengthen the spine. Right heel comes down. Okay, and I want you to find that left hip move into the right arch. Find that ability to stretch long ways and still maintain, here we go, those muscles in the pelvic. Inhale, warrior one, but don't lift up. Don't lift up your hips. Keep those hips nice and low. There you go. Good. Lengthen through the back of the neck. Pull your pelvic muscles in. So think about how important it is to have a strong center of gravity when you start to turn all these, you know, top and then swing it through to get really strong power, trying to hit that ball 150 miles an hour. But that comes from the middle of the body. So pull those muscles in, take one more breath, and then release the arms, warrior two. Stay soft through the shoulders. Reach the fingers in opposite directions, beginning to strengthen the left quad, and don't forget about the back leg. One more inhale. Exhale, reach the left arm back, right hand down the leg. Fill up the lats, deep inhale, deep exhale, deep inhale. There you go, Susan, deep exhale, one more. And then left forearm comes to the left leg, right arm extends out. And then try to not collapse. So you want lots of length and space, not only through the front rib, but also the bottom rib. So you want both waistlines very active here. Two more breaths. One more. Very good. Bring the right hand down. Bring the left hand down. Swivel. Plank. Hold the top of a push-up. Separate the mat. Knees can always come down. Don't forget. Inner thighs active. Lower down to the floor. Good. Okay, so now we're going to make things a little harder. So we did the hands to the lower back. So everything was a little bit more compact. But I want to show you how important it is to have a strong spine as you start to extend the arms away from the body to hold that golf club. So now we're gonna bring the arms like a goal post. So it's 90 degrees each arm. Keep the feet down, knees down, inhale to lift, and stay there, exhale. Keep squeezing the scapula, rolling the shoulders back and down. Good. And then from here, extend the arms out and away from you. Recruit all of the muscles of the spine. Exhale, elbows bend. Two more, just like that. Inhale, extend those arms like you're holding the golf clubs. Feel how much more strength we need. Exhale, bring it down. One more, inhale and extend. Very good, exhale and bring it in. Hands under the shoulders, downward dog or tabletop to downward dog, however you like to hit it. Hug those arms in, good. Adding on, inhale, right leg goes up to the side. 
Exhale, right foot becomes flat between your hands. Get low. Good. Bring the left heel down. Stability in the lower body. Inhale, lengthen the spine. We're going to go a little quicker to add on. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, re reverse warrior two. Reach it back. This time, bring the right hand on the inside of the right foot to the floor. Connect the knee to the shoulder, please. And get as low as you can. Really low. You got it. Okay, then take that left hand over the ear. Keep pushing through the pinky side. Pull the muscles in from the pelvic to create that center of gravity, gravity a little stronger. And now we're going to see what happens as we bring the arms away from the body, how things change. Okay, bring the right hand, hand up to the left hand. So now it's just the lower base of the body. And then inhale, rely on the legs to lift all the way up and back. Good. Exhale, extend. Reach for the golf club. Inhale, lengthen. Stability in the lower body. One more time, all the way across. Good. And then release the hands. Step forward this time. Feel the fatigue in the right hip. Inhale, you lengthen the spine up. Exhale, bring the top of the head down. Bend the knees a lot here. I want you to really feel that connection with the stomach and the legs, right? So the goal really should be stomach to legs. It shouldn't be about touching the floor or the feet. It should be stomach to the legs and then eventually the legs straighten. So I'm going to stop cueing like that. I hope all the other yoga teachers in the planet do as well. Because that's really where you get your mobility in your hips. Okay, here we go. We're going to inhale, press through the feet, turn on the muscles of the butt, arms over your head. And then exhale to the middle of your body. Extend those arms all the way up again, shoulders turn. And then all the way down to forward fold to the belly. Good. Inhale, we lengthen, shoulders back. Step back, down the belly. Turn the leg on, inner thigh on. Inhale, left leg goes up to the sky. Left foot in flat between your hands. Right heel comes down, moving quick, stay low. Inhale, arms over your head, stable base. Exhale, warrior two. Good, settle into your hips. Give your body a second to catch up. Good. Looking at the front hand and the back hand equally. Look at your knees for a second. Make sure your knees, I think they look okay. The front knee is cracking over the second toe and that's not collapsing in. That's the biggest misalignment people do, which means your inner thighs aren't working. Those inner thighs are crucial. They matter. Okay, reach back. Reverse it. And then left hand all the way to the floor once you get there into so that full side angle. Okay, now really turn on those inner thighs. Left knee and shoulder working hard here. This is where we come in that strength of landing that swing, relying on the left glute. Left hand up to the right hand, hands away or arms away from the body, and then inhale, lift the spine. Yeah, this is the hard one. <laughs> Exhale, halfway down. On all the way up. Good, halfway down, left ass should be on. <laughs> Exhale. Let's do one more. The left never gets enough love. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Left hand to the floor. Right hand to the floor. Step forward. And hello to the left butt cheek. <laughs> Good. Halfway up. Left in the spine. All the way down. Exhale. Good. Here we go. Lift it all the way up. Standing hands, shoulders move. And then bring the hands all the way down by the sides of the waist. Some of the mountain pose. If you back it up, leg it always close to the spine. Okay, close your eyes for a second. Turn your shoulders down and onto your spine. Flatten the tailbone out. And just find your center of gravity. Find your breath. Feel the feet. Feel the arches lift from the feet. And then hug your muscles onto the bones of the legs. Pull the muscles of the lower groin into the stomach. And feel the strength into the, the stillness. Feel the strength in just being still, feeling the muscles through the fingertips, the shoulders. Hug the sternum in. Good. And then slowly open your eyes.
release the hands down. Step back just like 12 inches with the left foot. Bring the hands to the hips, soften through the right knee, and create that same quality you had in the mountain pose a moment ago. And the challenge here is to close your eyes. Challenge, not necessary. We'll see what happens. But I want the hands on the hips. I want it to feel much more controlled and supportive. And then begin to lean forward. Lift up the left heel, load that right glute. Once you feel secure, left leg goes up. Hold. Okay, and then we're gonna go arms out to the side. Feel here, if you can move on, if you've got the strength in your lower belly and spine, and then extend the arms out, hold the golf club. Now imagine you're actually holding the golf club that weighs what, two, three pounds, sometimes heavier, lighter, and feel all of that strength that you have in your right glute. Belly, hold. Two more breaths. One more breath. Good, hands out to the side. Hands to the hips. Left toes step back, left heel releases. Good, step up. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Step the right foot 12 inches back. Find that same quality in the muscles of the body and attention to detail. Hands to the hips. Soften through the left knee. Hips square forward. You're gonna find something that happens here. So I naturally externally rotate with the right hip more. So I don't do very well in the downswing. So you may find that happens for you and one of the other sides. And then here we go, take off. Find something to look at. The challenge can be close your eyes. For me, that doesn't ever come because of the vertigo. <laughs> Arms open wide. And then of course, most advanced, if we want to take it, hands in front. Low the left glute. Find the ability to stabilize. Right leg is still active. Although you're on the left leg, the right leg is still very active. One more breath. Arms out to the sides and to the hips. And step it back. Good. Okay, we're going to step it forward again. Adding on. Okay, we're going to step back. Left foot. I want a little bit more space. Make sure you have space in front of you, you guys, because you're going to be coming down a little bit. Okay, so the right foot is forward. Hands are your hips. Find what is happening in your hips. Do you feel pretty centered here with this left hip turning in and not dumping out? You're gonna find these little nuances in the body. Find that same quality as you do your mountain pose. Soften the knee, get ready to take off, left foot up. Okay, and then we're gonna add a rotation as we load the right leg, right? Okay, so arms out to the side. Inhale, arms in the front. Exhale, fingertips to the floor. Belly to the leg. Yep. Get soft through the right knee so that you don't do bones or you want our muscle to work. And then let's add that rotation. Right arm goes up. Think of the top of the swing, loading the right hip, right? Exhale, bring it down. Again, inhale, lift it up. Arms extended right, exhale, the elbow is always soft so you don't end up with golf and elbow. Inhale, very good, exhale. Okay, let's do the left arm. So again, I want the belly if you can on the leg, okay? I want really compact, strong connection to the middle. Left arm's gonna go up, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Both legs are externally rotated by the way, inhale. And exhale, very good. Stay soft in the right knee, I know the right glute is fatiguing. We're gonna come up with the right hand to the hip. Let a right hand push the hip back, left hand reaches forward. Three breaths, pull the navel in. One more, both hands to the hips, left foot down. Holy right ass, right? Standing up. Step the left foot forward. Pull the tailbone in, find some CT, reset yourself. Feel the strength, the power, right? The joy in finding your muscles turning on and your ability to do more than what you ever think, right? Going beyond what you thought was possible. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try the other leg. Send the right leg back. Get stable. 
Soften the left knee. Hands to the hips. Navel in. Lean and take off. Right leg goes up. Good. Hands to the sides. Hands to the front. Extend, and this is the best we can get to strengthen that left glute without weights. You're all the way from medial. Fingertips to the ground, belly to the left leg. Right leg active. So I don't want it just hanging out there like, you know, it's on a trampoline. Make it strong. Like, think balance beam. Like if, I don't know, a little child was going to walk on your right leg, they could walk and it would collapse. Okay, here we go. Externally rotated here. Left arm opens up, load the left glute. Inhale, rotate, upper back over a stable base. Exhale, release. Inhale, we lift and turn the upper back. Keep that belly onto that left leg, please. One more time, inhale. Very good, exhale. There we go, right hand, so align again. Inhale, turn open. Awesome, you guys, watch that right shoulder, exhale. Right shoulder, I'd like it behind the earlobe. Good. Turn on that bounce, speak of the right leg. One more time, inhale. Excellent. Exhale. All right, here comes that really strong move. Navel to the thigh. Left hand to your hip. Push the hip back. We want lots of support in the lower back. Reach the right arm forward. Challenge. One more breath. Actually, two more. Now one more. Right hand to the hip. Step forward. Good. Shake it out. Awesome, awesome power, you guys. Okay, shake out the legs. Come to the top of your mat and let's begin to release all of that contraction. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale through the middle, belly to the legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine, keep the belly there. Exhale, you can step back, plank. Lower to the core. Good. Lift up the chest this time. Hands are still cramping. And then exhale, child's pose. Now I'd like you to feel how much ground you have made, how much gain you have made in the mobility of your hips. And just kind of take a little note of feeling your glutes resting on your heels, I hope. And if they're not, that's okay, that's okay. Just know that the more you practice, the more continuous you are, more, the most disciplined you become, the easier, the faster it repeats itself. That healthy pattern of movement, of alignment, to support the body through all different planes of motion. Good. And then please lift it up to tabletop and lower down to your belly again. Okay, so now we're going to mobilize the upper back and the neck a little bit more. So hands underneath the shoulders, point the elbows straight up, and then send the shoulder back towards the hips. Almost like you're trying to get them actually to the hips and then coming to the elbows again. And then instead of just touching the mat here, Engage the mat and pull it towards your, your ribs and lift up the chest. If you're still okay, squeeze your, your bones together, your muscles together and your spine. Lift a little higher. And if you're still okay, lift a little higher. <laughs> but keep that activeness of the body. And then maybe all the way up. Upper legs floating, chest up and floating. Right? Shoulders back, chin goes up. Stay here. Don't forget about the legs. Balance being legs. Let arms are not locked. Elbows are soft. One more. And then slowly gaze forward. Knees down. Hips down. Bottom ribs. Top ribs forehead. Good job. Bring the arms open like a goal post. Turn your cheek so that you're looking to the right hand. Take a moment and just let the muscles relax in the spine. Good. Bend your knees, both of them, and let the feet just go left and right. 
Neutralize the lower back. Good. And then bring the tops of the feet down. So most people's favorite pose coming up now for golfers. Roll on to the left hip. I'm oh, sorry, is that one? Yep, left hip. Roll to the left hip. Swing or scissor the right leg back and adjust the right hand. And you can stay here just kind of hanging out or you can place the right foot flat on the ground and just breathe into this left shoulder, left pec. And I also want you to see if you can floss the left shoulder a little bit more here. So that left palm is also flat if you're in the goal post. See if you can pull your body forward with the left palm and then push back. Pull forward and push back. And then try to stay in that pull forward position and feel how you open up in just the right places in your shoulders. Good. Close your eyes. Breathe. Deep breath in. Good. Deep breath out and release. Oh. Uh, release, release, release. Okay, take, take both arms back, lace the fingers. Give that left arm a release. And let's inhale just for an easy back bend. Lift up the shoulders, lift up the chest, and then slowly release. Go post arms again, please. Palms flat. This time, turn your cheek to look left. So the right cheek is down, bend the knees, and windshield wiper the knees left and right. Breathing any way that serves you to release any edge, any edge at all that you might be holding on to in the body, the mind especially. And then release the legs all the way down, please. Roll slowly, right hip. Support the body, left foot flat behind the right leg. Stay there for a few breaths. And then when you feel that that right shoulder is stable, you can pull with the right palm flat, pull the floor towards you and away from you. And just find that flossing of the pec muscle that gets extremely tight. With anybody who tries to stay fit, play sports, we overuse the pec minor, overuse the pec minor. And the back takes, takes a beating a lot of the time. So stretch it up. And then find that nice spot to land and stay there. Big breath in. Big breath out. Notice with your eyes closed, if that right shoulder wants to default into the pattern of least resistance, and come up towards the ear. If it does, remind it, settle, soften away from the ear. Good. And then gently release. Knees come down. Hands to the lower back. Inhale and rise. One last lift for the spine, stretch for the pecs. One more breath, and then gently release. Okay, roll onto your backs, please. Get yourself comfortable, and just bend your knees once you get to your back, and bring your arms to extend right by your sides. Yeah, just bring some neutralizing to the lower back, to the hips. Find a steady breath. And notice how maybe dramatic your energy has changed. I know it has for me. I started the practice pretty darn tense. Um, just from stuff, right? We all have got this stuff happening right now. I feel more grounded. So see if you can find that awareness in your body and welcome it. And if you're not quite there yet, it's okay. Just stick with it. Breathe through it. Just welcome all that you're feeling. Good. And then please open your arms up wide like a T, laying on the ground. And let both knees gently fall to the right. Find a nice neutralizing twist for the spine. You can bring the knees up kind of close towards the right armpit or leave them where they are if that feels good. 
but just feel an expansion through the lungs. Feel your ribs opening. And make the goal to fill up every little branch within the lungs. Not so much restriction. Take two more calming breaths here. Listen to the sound of your breath. Good. And then go ahead and bring the knees back up. And over to the other side once you straighten out. Arms open back up like a T to welcome in the openness of the chest that you've created. And you can bring the knees up towards the left armpit or just gently down if you'd like that more space. And again, the focus is on the chest on this one. And then filling out those lungs, all those little branches. And seeing if you can reach all the way around the spine as well to the back side of your body with the breath. Calming, controlled breath. Take one more here. And now we're gonna do a little bit of work on the diaphragm. Lift the knees all the way back up to center. Straighten out the spine and bring both knees in towards your chest. Okay, and then I'd like you to lift the legs all the way up and feel the gentle pressure of the legs that they are putting on the diaphragm. The lowest part of your ab, well, not the lowest part, but your diaphragm is right beneath your ribs. So feel that gentle pressure that the legs with gravity are putting on the diaphragm. And then on your exhale, bring the heels all the way down to the floor with control. Exhale, controlled landing, good. And then we're gonna move like this. Inhale, legs go up, pressure on the diaphragm. Exhale, heels to the floor. Good. And we're gonna do that six times in total. So go at your own pace. Keep your legs intact, keep them strong, and don't rush the breath. Use this to really tone the, the muscles in the lower abdomen, tone the diaphragm, so that you can retreat your breath deeper in times of stress, anxiety, or pressure. And again, tie it back to the golf game every time. That's our, our sankalpa, our, our time that we didn't do so well and we're like, oh no, we're back at that hole. Release those scars and find a new found ability to breathe through them. And then the next time that the legs come down to the floor, keep them there. Find a full breath in with the body relaxed. Full breath out. Full breath in all the way to the diaphragm now. Full breath out. Two more, just like that. Melting away all of that rigid ice. One last one. Good. Okay, now I'd like you to inhale and lift the arms up and over your head. Good. And then walk both heels to the right corner of your mat. And we're going to take a final side stretch for the body. Reach your arms to the right corner of the top of the mat. And seek three deep breaths like we did just moments ago, utilizing the diaphragm. If you'd like to come deeper into the stretch, of course, you can bring the left ankle on top. And then release out and repeat this on the other side. Walk both heels over to the left. Walk both arms to the left. Make a nice extension C shape with your body. Right ankle over the left if you choose a little deeper for IT band. 
But most importantly, let the inner strength of your breath bring you into a deeper sensation of the stretch. It's always the inside that makes your body stronger on the outside. Soften the gaze. Let's take one more full in breath in and out. Good, release. Bring the body back to straight. Release the arms down by the hips. Bend the knees and place both feet flat on the ground. This is going to be the last posture we're going to take. So I'd like you to breathe the deepest you've, bre you've breathed, you've taken a breath thus far for the class, to find that internal strength really creates maybe what to be uh, appearing to the external eye, more physical strength, but it really comes from the abdomen, the center of gravity. So bringing the arms down by your sides, shoulders down, on your inhale, press through the feet and lift your hips all the way up to a baby birch pose. Good. And then once you get up, adjust the arms to go a little bit more underneath the spine. And with each inhale, let's start at the breastbone. Inhale, feel the breastbone come towards the chin, but the head stays down. And exhale. With the inhale, feel the bottom of the sternum coming up higher. And exhale. With the next inhale, feel the solar plexus right in the middle of the belly coming up. Inhale. And exhale. And then finally, your tailbone, highest. Inhale. And exhale. And then full body. Inhale. Everything you've got. Slowly release one bone down at a time. Exhale. Good. Go ahead and let the knees go left and right. Windshield wiper the legs until you feel comfortable, neutralized, and then extend the legs all the way out in front of you. Elongate the body. Hold the legs in a V shape, arms down by the sides. And then move your awareness to the center of your body where the breath is met. And then I'd like you to find and visualize yourself with the center breath in the center of your room. Imagine what you look like if you were looking down upon yourself in the center of the room. And bring in all of this grounding feeling, safe feeling within this room, feeling very comfortable. Bringing in a deep inhalation and exhaling out completely. And then just change your external surroundings and place yourself maybe on the golf course. Imagine yourself now on the golf course, standing, with all of this inner awareness. Full deep inhale, exhale completely. Feeling safe, calm, peaceful, and secure. So the external surroundings can change nonstop, but it's the inside that you maintain. It's the inside center focus and strength, calmness and peace that's always within your own ability with just a breath away. Enjoy this feeling. Taking a few breaths wherever you've put yourself. And then bring it back to the center of your body. Move your awareness back to the room inside your home and re-visualize the room. Revisualize and imagine where you are in the room, the objects in the room, and just lie down quietly. Begin to again imagine now your feet and begin to move your feet. Bring your awareness now to your hands and begin to move your hands. And when you feel it's time, begin to bend your knees and roll over to the right side. Take a few moments here. 
Revisiting your piece, your breath you've created. And then gently use your left hand to press yourself up from the floor and slowly sit up in a comfortable posture. Bring your hands to rest on your legs. Feel soft within your body. Take a deep breath in. Open the mouth, exhale. Hope you feel centered, no matter what happens all around us. Thank you for joining me, namaste. If anyone, let me stop this recording.